So the first thing you're gonna see here is working with the VPC to do this management of the network from your data architectory. So I will create a VPC here in the VPC console. And right now I have two options to create this VPC. One is VPC only. When I use that, all the structure, all the management of the VPC, all the network uh, necessities, we have to do this of the manual way. So it's not, uh, I have a little trick to do that when a VPC only to make this relationship with the public IP, you get the registration net address, you have to use the ECL um, control to do this man management to, to turn as possible to bring the, all the traffic between this net VPC. So I suggest for you guys use the VPC and more because here you're gonna do the, all the architecture of the network necessary to construct the glue and then build the top of for, for your data warehouse here. So the name of this VPC I will set as glue, glue VPC, right? Let let me be redundant with the name here. So if IPv4, you're not gonna change it, either the IPv6 too. So here, the available zones, you're gonna put in one. Public subnet, this is important because we have the strategy. Every time you're gonna make a connection outside the AWS, you have to do one VPC with two subnets. One subnet is gonna be responsible to connect you of the entire world outside the AWS, and another, the private VPC, is going to be responsible to make the, all the connections inside the AWS. So this is important to have in mind. We have here one private subnet and one public subnet. So I will select here to create a net gateway. Get netway is be responsible to do this connection, right? So I will keep select here, to enable the NES host names, enable the NES resolution. This is something important to do this connection. So when I use the VPC MR, we'll have everything was need to do this connection. So we can click in create VPC 